What's going on YouTube for us here? I hope you guys are doing well. As we approach the two month mark since the launch of X Defiant, I want to have a discussion, a conversation revolving around the matchmaking system here in this game. Because with the lead up to X Defiant, there was a lot of emphasis placed on the fact that there was going to be no skill based matchmaking in public matches. And many people like myself got excited over this. Finally, an arena shooter without skill-based matchmaking in public matches. This is awesome. This is going to remind me of the good old days, the COD 4 MW2 days, where lobbies were random. The experience was fun. It was authentic. That's great. And others, many of them being casuals, couldn't care less about this fact because they probably don't even know what skill-based matchmaking is. So before I dive too deep into my thoughts regarding this subject, I want to turn it over to you. How do you feel two months into this game's life cycle in a no skill-based matchmaking world? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you miss skill-based matchmaking? Or are you somebody that just does not want to see it in AAA titles anymore? Leave a comment down below. Now, before I address my thoughts about no skill-based matchmaking here in X Defiant, I do want to talk about two problems that are popping up in matchmaking right now. The first of which being team balancing. It feels as if team balancing here in X Defiant is extremely inconsistent, similar to the netcode. The problem that I currently have with team balancing is that you get really mismatched games. And that's okay, it's going to happen every once in a while, but it feels like it's starting to happen more and more. And it's just one of those bits of consistency I'd like to see more of in X Defiant. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. And then the second thing I want to touch on is wait times to get into an actual game. It feels as if matchmaking is taking a little bit longer now than it did during launch. And maybe this is a player base issue, but I feel more so that it's a server issue. And I'd really hope that it's something they can rectify quickly. I'm not saying it's unplayable. I'm not saying it's an extremely frustrating experience. It's just one of those things that'd be nice to have. We're not trying to match players based on skill. We're trying to get pings here. I don't think it should be that difficult to get into matches a little bit quicker. So those are my only two gripes so far with the matchmaking system here in X Defiant. Outside of those two gripes, I love the randomness of the matchmaking system. I love the fact that I don't know what I'm going to get game to game. I could lose 10 games in a row. I am not guaranteed to get a win on the horizon because that's what happens in a skill-based matchmaking world. They see the amount of punishment you've taken. They're like, oh no, let's toss him a bone. That doesn't happen here in X Defiant. And on the opposite end of things, you could be winning 10, 15 games in a row and they're not going to throw you into an impossible game to win. That's not how it's working. They don't care about your previous matches. It's all about that match that you're playing right now. That's really nice. And because you get this wide variety of games, you also play against a wide variety of play styles. Yeah, you'll have those people running around bunny hopping with an MP7. Oh well. You'll also have games where it feels like you're playing against Timmy No Thumbs. Those happen too. And then you'll get the game here or there where you're playing against a really competitive, strong team and you have to play really competitive strong as well. Not every game needs to be a sweat fest. You can go in and have some meme setups and have some fun. And overall, the game is a good experience. Now, where it gets a little bit frustrating is when you're in an objective-based game and nobody on your team wants to play the objective, but that's going to happen. The main point that I want to make, though, when it comes to this no-skill-based matchmaking system is that the game feels so much less manufactured. Gunfights feel so much less manufactured. Everything feels authentic, at least from a matchmaking perspective. We can discuss some of the other issues with the net code and the hit detection in another video. But when it comes to matchmaking, it doesn't feel as if the game is trying to direct me in a certain way. And that's really nice. It's very reminiscent of when I first got into first-person shooters with games like Halo 3, COD 4, MW2. That's the type of experience I've had so far. One that makes me really wonder why we have skill-based matchmaking in regular public matches. 
And one of the most beautiful things that I've noticed for players is people that have posted about their grind to success, starting out as a really weak player, maybe a 0.4, 0.5 KD, and grinding up towards that 1 KD. Now, unfortunately, those posts have disappeared with the current stats bug that doesn't allow your stats to change. But still, before that bug became present in Season 1, there were a lot of success stories of people starting off bad and grinding up and getting good. And you weren't getting punished for it. Being good at this game isn't a punishable offense anymore. You're a strong player, you're a strong player. You're going to have a good time. And I think you should be rewarded for being better than other players instead of punished. And that type of experience makes you want to be good. Playing against better players consistently makes you want to get better. At least that's been my experience. I know some people just toss the game out and don't care, but then this game isn't for you. No skill-based matchmaking doesn't need to be every for everyone, and neither does skill-based matchmaking. There's a reason why I don't play a ton of ranked. I don't need to. I don't need to get that ego checked right now, if I'm going to be completely honest. Maybe in a couple seasons when I have a little bit more time to play the game and get a little bit better and have actual competitive class setups. But regardless of that fact... Having an experience like X Defiant, where there is no skill-based matchmaking, and it is purely based on ping, is such a breath of fresh air. And I say that so much with this game, whether it's its transparency, or its call to action when it comes to actual bugs in the game. Everything feels like they're doing it right. It's all about the player, it's all about the community first. And a decision like no skill-based matchmaking was the smart decision. I know many people thought it was going to be a major fail because they're the only major title doing it, but so far it seems to be a resounding success. It seems to be a reason why players keep playing. The game feels more genuine. It feels more real. The experience isn't as manufactured. And that's the big difference that I've noticed. When I go play Call of Duty... I can almost tell you how every game is going to finish. With X Defiant, it's not that way. And that's what makes it so great. That variety is the spice of life. And it's so true here with X Defiant. So, I'll leave you with the same question I started with. How do you feel about X Defiant not having skill-based matchmaking almost two months into the game's life cycle? Let me know with a comment down below, and as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.